go on to G. Uh, this is an architect selection. We need a motion that the board approve the selection of uh, Clark Anderson Partners as the the architect for the future of the facilities project. We need a motion. So moved. Jim. Second. Second. Dennis. Okay, so I invited these guys here. I don't want them to get off scot free without any questions during the discussion. <laughs> time. So we got Bob, we got Tim, and TJ. At least a couple questions for them. So. Uh, could you review again how you helped the board uh, with the public meetings and so forth? With the pre bond issue process? Yeah, um, we provide several different services during that during that time. The first is just uh, meeting with you and, and figuring out the needs. There are really two, two parts to every bond issue. One is what you can afford, what the size of the bond ought to be, uh, and that's where we'd ask for help here. Um, but the other is what you need or what, what, what your desires are to fill from a facility standpoint. So uh, we start off and we can help you with suggestions for committee forming, you know, getting stakeholders involved, not only board subcommittees but community stakeholders, um, administration, school staff. Um, listen to all of the input from, from all those various stakeholders. Uh, come up with a priority list for what needs to be included with the bond issue. And then start generating concepts and ideas and, and at the interview we, we started to share some of those ideas of, of how we can fit those new facilities or renovated facilities in the in the boundaries of your school, and, and we can bring with uh, with us through that pre-bond um, work, uh, cost estimating, obviously, as well as um, plan uh, development, three-dimensional images, um, and take that into promotional materials that you can use when engaging the community and, and promoting the bond issue. Uh, and, and we showed some of those at the at the interview and some of the things that we've done for other school districts for, for Seward and, and uh, for Hastings in, in passing their bond issues. So um, you know, we can provide a lot of a lot of support and a lot of a lot of help during pre bond services. Cost the district for you to do this? Well, for, for pre bond services, uh, we do not charge a fee for our time for pre bond services. Um, the one thing that you might get an invoice from us for would be reimbursable costs, it, uh, according to or basically only for printing cost. If you, if you want printing material, printed materials, for example, if you want to distribute postcards or things like that, um, that. You know, you can, you can get that somewhere else also, but you can also uh, get that from us, and we just bill you our direct direct cost for that if you um, if you need promotional materials like that. Uh, um, a lot of times we use a, a you know printing company in Lincoln, but we can do that a lot of different ways. Uh, since that's actually money just out of our pocket, then then we do invoice you for that. But other than that, we don't charge for for pre bond services. Um, we do that as you know, we go through a lot of marketing efforts on a lot of different projects, a lot of different fronts, and and this is really no different. Where we're we're in this with you, we're sharing the the risk, if you will. Um, we're here to to help you through that because you know ultimately that's uh, that's going to benefit us as well, and and uh, we think it's more of a partnership that way. Uh, there's less of a feeling that we're here just to provide you with a. Um, study or with some services that we're going to get paid for, we win no matter what, uh, we're in this to, uh, to help you out and benefit from it as well. One of the big things that we talked about was the difference between construction manager and design and build process. Mm -hmm. Could you explain that a little bit and how sure. that process works and how we know which direction we're going to go and when that decision gets made? Yes. Uh, I guess starting off with design, bid, build. When a project is designed, bid, build, uh, we design it and we come up with a set of plans that shows exactly how the building is to be built or the modifications are to take place. Those plans are sent out to, to bidders and those bidders um, bid directly from those plans and, 
and generally at that point you take the lowest responsible bidder uh, for that set of plans. That lowest responsible bidder is typically a general contractor who hires subcontractors um, and they're generally taking the lowest subcontractor bids that they can get the lowest responsible bidders. So in, in essence you're you're getting the, the lowest price out there. Construction manager is, uh, there's several different models, but uh, the model most typically used is you would hire a construction manager. Um, typically earlier in the stages of this, even prior to the bond issue, they, um, they will negotiate a fee, uh, which there's a lot of basis to figure out what, a, what an appropriate fee is for a construction manager. Um, then they work with us through the design process, through the pre-bond process, and help with cost estimating. They also help with um, kind of idea generation and, and sort of act as a, uh, another set of eyes and ears through that process and through the design process. At the same time, they, uh, when bids are taken, they're taking bids from subcontractors. And a lot of times, uh, they will bid as well, but they'll bid against other subcontractors. So you might have a construction manager who also does, uh, might want to do the demolition portion of the work. They will put in a bid and you'll get other bids from other uh, demolition contractors. Then what you do is you take the lowest subcontractor bids and you can see all those subcontractor bids. So if there's a good reason to hire, say, uh, an electrical contractor who maybe isn't the lowest bid, um, but you have a preference to them, you have, you have the ability to see that. So construction manager really gives you, you know, a couple uh, different advantages. One is that you get to see all of those subcontractor bids and you get to see all of the, the that's the kind of detail you get. You also get that, that other set of eyes and ears in the process, earlier in the process. Uh, another advantage is that if, if you want to do phased construction where you want to start a portion of the work while other portions are still being designed, that's easier in a construction manager process. Uh, the advantage to the design build, bid build process, uh, I, I, I guess you would say you're, you're probably guaranteeing yourself the lowest possible bid because they're taking, they're obviously going to take all the low bids, but you don't have any say in, in those subcontractors. You're going to take the lowest responsible general contractor bid. Um, so I'm some, not sure that some school districts have based their selection of the construction manager on the, the rapport they have with either the project manager or even the site superintendent. A lot of the construction manager will, will bring their entire team to the interview and I mean it's what Seward just did. They hired their construction manager based on the feeling that they had or the references that they got more for the site superintendent, the guy that's there every day more than the project manager or the construction company for that matter. So it gives you a little more um, flexibility up front. You can pick who, you, who you're going to work with. And that, that site superintendent is, you know, in a lot of districts, <coughs> is very important because uh, they are who you're going to see every day during construction and they're the people you're going to be going to and saying uh, you know this isn't going right or uh, hey we have a JV football game this afternoon and we need use of that parking lot you use it what, whatever it is you know that that report is important so there are advantages to, to both and we've certainly done numerous projects both ways but, um, we can and, help and that's a decision we'd want to make very early on um, because again if you're going to use a CM at risk they're part of the team from the beginning and you know they help you get a good handle on cost they see it from a different side of the fence and so they provide some value there and um what do you mean by early on how early how soon does that decision need to be made i would think in the first month or so right yeah i mean i think if we were going to, if we were going to do a construction manager we may as well start that process here in the in the earliest stages so they can be evolved through that that pre-bond process that's, we, that said, we've seen you know, CMs brought on later. It's not like if you don't make that decision now that it, it can't happen. But this way they have a stake. You know, in the, in the pre-bond, um, if, if they're involved with 
with taking part in this and coming up with a cost estimate and helping to size the bond issue, then then they have a stake in that. I mean, they're um, they they've given that price early on, and and they're bound and determined to make that work. So they're not coming in after the fact and then going and then saying, well, yeah. you know, maybe maybe you underestimated your your your, your project. You're going to pay them the same amount whether you bring them on next week or after your bond issue, either way. Their fee isn't going to go down. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. And thank you very much for making the recommendation. <coughs> Great. So I know you guys did what? Uh, Hastings Middle School? Yes. And then the sewer. Seward Middle School. Middle School. Have you done any smaller ones that are close that somebody could look at? Uh, yes. Just we did the uh, addition at, at Friend. Okay. At Jim at Friend. So just down the road. Okay. Um, you know, we did an elementary school addition at, at a West Hall as well as a renovation of uh, in, Atkinson. in Atkinson. In Atkinson. So that's not too close. Not too close. That would that would be a ways. Okay. Uh, as well as. Uh, Numerous projects for, for Lincoln Public Schools, um, yeah. including you know elementary school renovations, even smaller projects than that, up to large high school renovations, and most recently the new elementary school. Yeah. We did the Beatty, uh, we did the renovation at Beatty Elementary School, um, Lincoln High and East High, and as TJ said, the new elementary school is being built in Lincoln. Any other questions? Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate the information. <coughs> Let's go ahead and do a roll call. Chilka? Yeah. Bill Meyer? Yes. Oshner? Yes. Donner? Yes. Jacobson? Yes. Punchman? Yes. Flywine? Yes. None? Yes. Public? Yes. Motion has been passed that the board approved the selection of the uh, Clark Anderson Partners as the architect for the future of the facilities project. <laughs>